Alrighty, hello, hello everybody, this is Kirusho here, and whenever we last left off, Midoriya had just reawakened his gem powers, along with kissing Mina at the USJ, and fusing to form Mizuku. Now, Deku is at home, and it is the next day. Mina actually coming by and talking with him, wanting to see if he's doing better. Midori would have opened the door and explained everything. He's feeling perfectly fine. In fact, as soon as he got home yesterday, he explained to the gems what happened. Garnet seemed to be very excited. And, well, Pearl was a bit ecstatic. Then again, I do still need to go find Amethyst. She's probably still hanging out with Jasper. Now, this is when Vermina would just ask if Amethyst is ever going to be okay. Midori is just saying that he's not too sure. My mom lied to her for Amethyst's entire existence. I don't think that's something she'll ever get over. Now, with that being said, the two would have hang the hangout, sitting down on the couch along with actually having a lion lay on the lay on the couch too. These two are actually talking more, hang out for a bit, and well, eventually the conversation turning to what about them? Asking exactly what is that the whole kiss thing mean? Was it... Midori just cutting her off, saying that it, it was a... It was, um... It was... Well, it's just that... Everyone usually thinks that we're... A, a couple, and, well... Before her just cutting her off, him off, saying that... She gets that, but was it... Genuine? Before Midori would just say yes without a single ounce of hesitation in his voice. And she would have been surprised, and actually smile a bit, before actually just getting up and sitting down right next to him, and then giving him a kiss, seeing if that's true. Now, after a bit of time, Garnet would have walked in, and she pronounced her presence with a simple <coughs> The two basically pulling away from each other. And Garnet had to explain that You two wanted to do some training in your two weeks, didn't you? Yeah, we did. Well, I believe over the Sky Arena will be perfect. You can use one for all, and you can use your pink ability. Midoriya not too sure. He was told by that one villain that the Nomu was as strong, if not stronger, than All Might. And he was able to, well, fight against it for a couple of minutes. So, he doesn't want to hurt Mina. Before, Garnet would just say that, along with you, you need to work on full cowling. And... And she'll just bring her hands up smiling, saying that if you want to, you two can fuse and I can teach you some proper fighting styles, along with teamwork. You two have been separated for quite a long time. And, well, I've been there. Now, getting back to the task at hand, I believe you two have some training to do. Now, Mina, her and Deku would actually go to the warpad and leave, heading over to the Sky Arena and beginning to get things in order. As soon as they arrive, Garnet would have walked over the benches and sat down, 
saying that these two are going to be fighting off against each other. And if you do not believe each other to go all out, then I will go find Amethyst, or possibly even Pearl. And you'll have to deal with a either a serious fusion or a wacky one. Now, that would be enough. And Mina would just get ready. Charging up full cowling as Midoriya, he actually does stretch bits, popping his knuckles and actually stretching his arms. Asking her if she's ready. Her just saying yes. As she turns on this new full cowling and understanding exactly how much easier this is on her body. Now, this is whenever they would begin. Mina charging in about 15%, while Midoriya, he just is trying to take it slow. He's not too sure exactly how strong he is now, so he does need to be careful. Him actually coming to meet Mina with a fist. As soon as he brings his hands up, he would have caught Mina's hand, and immediately go to send out his own. Her being able to dodge maneuver around him. Him taking it easy on her. As the two continue on. Garnet just watching these two jump around and actually basically just, well, fight. Before she tells them to step it up. Mina turning up to 20%. Being able to hit Midoriya across the face and then not really do anything. Along with him actually turning and actually punching her in the gut. The two going back and forth. Mina then increasing higher. 25, 30, 35, going higher and higher before reaching her breaking point. About 35 to 45%. So somewhere in the middle of that number. Let's say 37. Her just saying that she feels like she can hardly move, but her power is maximized at this point. Or just really high. Her actually rushing in to fight with Midoriya. Him rushing in too. Her actually being a bit more surprised. He's taking her a lot more seriously. Along with the fact that his skin has now turned pink. And he is able to match her in strength, speed, and stamina. Along with partially in durability. Anytime he needs to, he would just bring up his hand and form a bubble. Basically being able to create shields. Now, this would allow Midoriya to get a bit of an upper hand. As Mina would have gotten more serious, throwing up her hands and going to blast acid. Midoriya forming a bubble and immediately just expanding it. Acid flying all around the arena. And she would rush in. Before Garnet does tell them to stop. Now, after that happened, she would just explain that if they go on like this, Mina is going to have to go to the fountain. And Midoriya will be too frightened to use his abilities. So, I am sorry to say, you must cut this short. Now, the two would continue on training like this for roughly about a week before Karashima and Baku would have entered their training sessions. One morning, early in the morning, Bakugo actually knocked on the door, and he wanted to talk with Midoriya, along with train with him again. He understands the power difference now. Midoriya always has tried to make up for it anytime he can, pushing himself more and more. So, turning around saying that he wants to train with him. Not just that. Karashima basically just walking into the house, a bit surprised, saying that this is a really weird place. Before saying that, you also do have him. He wants to know exactly why you're... well, you. Midoriya not really sure what to say about that. Before, Karashima would just say that he's actually really excited to train here. So, uh... Not to sound rude or anything, but I'm guessing that behind that door is your guys' gym or, well, you just run along the beach or something, right? 
Midori just saying, no, actually. But you're going to have to wait some time. Mina's not here yet. Oh, uh, sure. So what's exactly going on with you two? Uh, we kind of just talked. Midori is sitting down. And Lion would walk down the staircase out of Midori's room. Karashima someone freaking out before Midori would just say that he's friendly. And to not worry about him. Besides, he doesn't really eat normal things. He gets like a... I'm not really sure what to say. He usually sees lying with these strange lizards that look like they have gems, but they are... Well, they're on Earth, right? He's not really too sure. Now, Midoriya would just explain everything. Exactly what they're going to be doing and how they're going to be doing it. Combat training and all that. Along with Kirishima wanting to face off against Izuku on the beach, since their last fight was interrupted. And now he has his jump strength. The two facing off on the beach until Mina would have walked up. Her watching as Kirishima and Midoriya are facing off on the beach. Kind of confused until she does see Bakugo just standing over off the side. And she would walk up to him, ask him exactly what is happening. This is when Bakugo would just say that it's actually pretty simple. You have the dumbass in red. He wanted to train against Midoriya. And see exactly how strong he was against him. Especially with this newfound strength he got back. Now, that would have been whatever Bakugo would just explain what happened. And we'll cut to their fights. Karashima is ready, harding up his hands along his body. His one week training with Bakugo has made him jump a couple leaps and bounds. But even then, He'll need to work on this. Now. He would rush forwards. Immediately going to attack Midoriya. Midoriya throwing up a shield in response. And Kirishima seeing exactly how durable it is. The thing doesn't feel like it's there. But at the same time, if you were to blink, you probably would have missed it. Midoriya throwing out his own punch. Socking Kirishima directly in the face. I'm actually being surprised as he would have gone flying backwards. As Midori would rush forwards, surprising him in speed. As Midori would somewhat mess around with Karashima, jumping around and actually performing quite a lot of acrobatic feats. Him basically having Karashima not able to touch him. Before he would have finally turned around and smashed Karashima directly into the guts. He actually got a bit too serious there for a second, and Karashima would have actually broken that part of his body. Someone falling to the ground and coughing up a bit of blood. Midoriya cracked quite a few ribs. And it was a bit intense. And basically saying that he, he's sorry. Before, he would have healed him. With his healing tears. Now. After that happened... This would be where he would just decide that if him and Karashima are going to train, training at, well, the Sky Arena, would probably be a bad idea. So, as he would just ask if they'd like to train at the fountain. Besides, it would probably be a lot easier. Karashima confused as to what the fountain even is. Them all walking to Midoriya's house and teleporting away. Warping, and heading there. They would all hang out, and actually fight here. Since anytime someone gets injured, they could just jump in the water. And it would be not only refreshing, but a good way to relax for minutes. As after the next 2v2, it was Bakugo and Midoriya versus Karashima and Mina. They actually did have quite a bit of fun. And they've all just jumped into the water. They've been training for almost about three hours. 
And, well, Karashima is just asking if they're going to take a break now, or just finally stop and hang out. And we're just thinking that that should work. Now, they would have all been hanging out and actually fooling around in the water. Midori and Mina actually somewhat just talking more and teasing each other. Karashima and Bako being stuck to witness this. Before eventually they would have had to leave. Then heading back to the house and actually finding Amethyst. And she is looking a bit worse for wear. She was basically trying to sneak in and use the fountain. So that Midoriya wouldn't have to try and heal her. Midoriya actually a bit shocked and asking her exactly what is she doing here. Before seeing her gem is cracked. Again. Healing her and trying to get an explanation out of her. Her just saying that he doesn't understand what it's like. Besides, your mom never lied to you. In fact, I'm fairly certain, before she would just stop, realizing that she's wrong actually. Rose did lie to him. So... Midoriya turned pink and telling Amethyst that if she doesn't make up with the gems, or even at least talk to everyone, then there's going to be a problem. Her actually a bit surprised. Midoriya actually has his powers back. Her just asking when did that happen. Midoriya just saying last week. Besides, if you were around more, you would know. As he tells her to talk to them. They've made up with each other. So why can't you? You stuck around to save the earth. And then you just left again. And I thought you used to be the mature one. Her taken aback by that. And asking exactly what does he mean? Mature. Then I'm getting into a long heated argument. Until Deku would just say that he is going to talk to her later. And she would have left. Midoriya actually getting a bit angry, but calming down. And they would all hang out for the rest of the day. The next day, Midoriya won't be training with them. In fact, he does need to have a talk with somebody. Heading over to the forest. And making his way through it. Until he does find an old cave. Knocking on the door and trying to be polite until he does get an answer from Jasper. And he does try and talk with her. Asking her if Amethyst has come by. He wanted to talk with her more yet, after yesterday. Jasper is saying that the runt hasn't come by, if you're curious. So, along with that, what are you doing here? I guess I should salute you, correct my diamond? First saying that very rhetorically. Midori just saying no. In fact, that's not it. He wanted to talk with her. And, well, try and understand what happened. Besides, what about you? I thought you didn't like overcooked runs. Jasper actually taking him back. Before saying that there's a difference between overcooked and, well, Useless. I thought that you Earthlings were something else. Then you proved to me that apparently our species aren't too different. Then again, just because of that, I won't be singing and doing any of that other stuff you and all the gems do. In fact, if you want me to sing, you're going to have to shatter me first. Midori is getting annoyed, and asking why she didn't just go to Little Homeworld and talk to people. Her just saying that she's training for the next war. A good soldier needs to keep on her toes. Midori is getting annoyed, turning pink and just saying that a good soldier knows when to end a war, 
and when to walk away. Don't you get it, you bubbling idiot. Before Jasper would have turned to him, say that he's actually Pink Pink. And she would have asked him exactly when did that start happening. That is none of your business. Besides, just go back to Little Homeworld, or even try going there once. You'll see that gems aren't too different. Besides, your war is over. Now, Jasper will just say that that's not true. In fact, she'll just wait around for whenever this all collapses. Midori is getting annoyed and saying that your purpose has changed, Jasper. You don't have to fight wars anymore, you don't even have to do all that. In fact, what was it? The day you first emerged, if I'm not wrong, I had a ruby once say you took out 50 or even 80 crystal gems on the first day. So, you think that you were born to be a soldier, born to lead. But what if I told you this? You lost, and there are no more wars. If you want to even try and be someone decent then, try becoming a pro hero. Then you'll at least have an excuse to punch people. Before she would just say that if he knows so much, then just fight her. And prove to her that it's a good cause then. Midoriya just saying fine. Jasper actually being a bit more surprised. The kid's taking initiative. Hmm. Just like a good leader. Her faces off against Midoriya. The two are beginning to fight. Now, it would go somewhat similar to how their fight would have gone, well, their first fight would have gone, with the two basically throwing each other around the forest, and actually just punching through and breaking a lot of trees. However, the difference would be, instead of being sucked up into the air, Jasper would have actually punched him across the face, and sent him flying through a couple trees, smashing through them and actually hitting them. Midori getting back up and actually pulling one out of the ground, and as soon as she comes flying in, smashing it directly across her face, throwing it in and just trying to smash it directly onto her, before reaching down, extending his hand, and pulling her out of the ground, throwing her up into the air as he would jump up after her, socking into her meaning to use his shield just like in canon, or just like Stephen did, jumping around more and more except for whenever he does go up higher and come down. Charging directly down as he comes in and smashes her across the face with a boxing glove, sending her flying into the ground. As Midori would have actually been a bit surprised, lowering himself down to the ground and walking over to see where her hole is, before just saying that he thinks that was good enough. So, are you ready to come with me now? Jasper just getting out of the ground, and shaking off this damage, saying that, hmm, you did well, but, turning around, saying that, you'll never be as strong as me, but you are getting better. In fact, I think you'll at least try and live to your diamond's legacy. But I'll at least... Pay attention to the runt next time she comes by. Midoriya actually being a bit happy about that. That's all he wanted to hear. And at least tell her to talk with the other gems. Hmm. I won't do that. Besides, you are not my diamond. Now, with that being said, I do believe that that would be a good point to leave that off of. And I do hope you guys enjoyed. And have an amazing day. Catch you guys in the next part.